We're coming to you today from the Grand Design Rally in Elkhart, Indiana, guys, and look what we just found. <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> <laughs> we just found the Grand Design Momentum model that Chad and Tara from Changing Lanes helped design. It is called the 410TH, and this one is an R model, I believe. Yep, THR. We're going to take you on an outside and an inside tour. Changing Lanes has done it already, but we're going to give you our take on it. Come on. When we were shopping for an RV from Japan, we couldn't go look at RVs and we found the 397 through Chad and Tara and we just loved it. We used to joke that we wanted to be Chad and Tara. Now that we're looking at this momentum, will we have to get a new one? We'll see. Hello and welcome back. If it's your first time here, I'm Scott. And I'm Allison. And we are Jarhead, Jarhead and Ginger's, Ginger's Journey. Journey. We're full-time RVers. We do destination videos, tips and tricks, and all things RV. If that sounds like something you'd like, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and come along on our journeys. I have been around this uh, once already, and one thing that I do like so far is the amount of storage you actually get here, guys. Not only one, this is the normal bay on a 397TH. You have that one plus another one here. One possible downside is the radio is here on the outside. So if you're gonna put something in your bay down low here, you may knock your knob off. I would say if they move this up to the top, you'd be good to go. But now you have access to your radio on the outside. This is no surprise. It's just a 30 pound propane can. All right, and we'll go around to the front, the nose cap here, and look in this bay, and it is exactly the same as well. You have your um, battery, you have your own end generator, and uh, your wiring and, and uh, things as well. Then looking at the pin box, there's no difference here either. This is a Moride pin box, the same as we have on our 397. All right, it looks like we have uh, H-rated tires at 125 uh, PSI. GVWR is 20,000 pounds, and uh, GAWR is 7,000 pounds. So this one has 7,000 pound axles on it. All right, well, there you go with that. There's all your good information that you might need. This one I'm not gonna bother with, another propane. Uh, canister there watch out for the cord you might trip yourself <laughs> open this bay you have your um, Lippert uh, leveling system there and then this bay here when you open it up is the rest of your storage and then pretty standard uh, Nautilus system for your wet bay ah minus this ours doesn't have this this one has the residential refrigerator so you have an ice maker here Working your way this way from the Nautilus system, you have the power cord. I like that they've put the 90 on it. Ours doesn't have that. I wish it did. And then coming to you over here, this may be a uh, controversial thing, but for me personally, I don't like the constant um, uh, water heaters. This happens to be a Furion. Uh, the reason I don't like them is they really, really, really use a lot of propane. If that's not a problem for you, this is probably the way to go. Down there is your furnace, all accessible from the outside, which is also a plus. Working on the um, driver's side slide here, nice big huge windows on this side, which uh, are the same as our momentum, except they're on the other side. We'll get to that in a bit. And then we have, this has changed um, a little bit as well. We have the two tanks still, uh, just like we do in our momentum, and the, uh, the toy filler. One's for your generator and one is for your toys, but they've added this, which is nice. This nice little area right here uh, for a little bit of extra storage. I'd probably store some blocks and probably some chalks in there as well. So that's, that's a nice new feature there. I like that. If you know about ours, we uh, missed the certified uh, weatherproof ramp door by about three weeks on ours. All, as far as I know, all of the new momentum since we picked up ours <laughs> have come with this. So that's a nice plus for this. You could leave this out in the rain and not worry about it. We take ours in every single time, uh, every single evening. All right. Working your way back, now we're on the camping side. We have the same set of fold-out stairs as we do on ours. Uh, 397, let's see if the door is actually uh, friction or not. No, the door is not friction, but it does hold back with magnet, okay? We'll keep coming this direction. 
Ours has a door right here, which this one doesn't, but this one has a door here and it's the exact same thing that ours is. It's your outside TV, guys. All right, so you also have a couple of Fosgate speakers out here, which ours has as well in the 397. But so far, um, I'm liking the uh, upgrades or the updates to this new 410 model. Let's go in and take a look at the inside now. That's where all the good stuff is anyway. Welcome to our new 410 THR. Y'all come on in. <laughs> We're gonna take you through nose to tail. So we're gonna start right here in the bedroom. The first thing you notice when you walk in is look at all this room. This is amazing. You have so much room because the slide is super deep. We have the dresser just like in our momentum and our 397. But if you look in that corner over there, there's like another whole set of drawers here. And then if you look, it's the same closet as the 2022 397 so let me show you that one you have all of these shelves and it is prepped in the back for the washer dryer hookups however all of these shelves would have to go you have ample storage on both sides sorry the closets are a little dark there are no lights in the closets but you do have the drawers down below and this side is the exact same now we're in the bathroom. I'm going to tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. The first thing, I love the shower. It has the rainfall shower head, body jets, and everything, just like we have. But it, uh, we did not get any baskets, storage baskets. This has this. And also, it has the seat that folds up. Ours didn't come with that. Some of the 397s did, but we didn't get it. It does have these glass sliding doors. I like this area a lot. You have a window to look out and you also have this mirror. What I do not like is there's no storage behind the mirror, but you get all of this storage here. Plus, <laughs> you get a toilet with a door. So you can be completely closed off during your business and there is a fan to get all the odors out. <laughs> what I do not like about this bathroom is that if you want to get to the bath to your bedroom you have to go through the bathroom it's not a deal breaker but I don't know I don't know why I don't like it it's just different I guess <laughs> now we're in the living room and the kitchen area you have this L-shaped sofa here and the thing about this is this does have the kick out and you'll be looking at the TV. If you've got the TV up, you'll see that in a minute. But then if you have company, it's kind of cramped seating. You have somebody here, somebody here, your legs will be touching each other. Or you could just sit here if there's only two of you and have your legs recline here. So take it or leave it, I don't know. <laughs> this is their dinette. I like that it has the, the little folding part so you can put that down to make more room or have it up for more table space. Uh, they do have it tastefully staged by the way, but this isn't how it will come obviously. Lots of nice windows. The valances are nice. I like that they don't put the side valances like we have. I don't know if those are even called valances, but those little side boxes, um, they're kind of bulky and kind of make it darker. I like the colors in here. Um, over here, We'll see that there's a very nice pantry. Lots of space here. There is storage up here. I can't even reach it, but that's where we put like our KitchenAid and some of our appliances that we don't use very often. Uh, very nice cabinets here. I like the finish or whatever of the glass on this style. They are separate cabinets. On the bottom, you do have your radio controls in here. Let's see, is there a plug over here? There is no plug. I think over here would be a great coffee station if there was a plug. Oh, the plug is up here. That is awesome. Good job designing that. There is a nice drawer here, cabinets under here. And then you'll see here is, there is an awesome island here. This sink is, has the, remo the removable um, cutting boards or whatever so you can hide away your dishes this only goes halfway up I don't know if there's other options I like mine that comes all the way up but some people prefer a totally open uh, sink so 
you know, whatever you get, it's nice. Um, what I really like about this, there's so much space for prep here and you've got so much window so you can sit here and, you know, look at whatever view that you have. That is great. Next, we move on to these drawers. They're very long, nice drawers. Lots of room in here. They are not the soft closed drawers, but they're very spacious, especially this one, big, deep drawer. You do have some outlets here and you do have the phone plug outlets there. I forgot what they're called. <laughs> and then you have these cabinets here. They are divided at the bottom. You have room for a trash can here. There's some plumbing here, so you don't have space above. There is something that's different from our 397. Look at that pullout drawer. That's nice. And then you also have storage right here. On this side, we have the television. It is a televator, so this lowers to give you more prep space. The thing that I do not like about that is if you're cooking right here and you have a greasy mess, it might leak down here a little bit. There is a little ledge in here to catch some of that grease, so hopefully it will be okay. But another thing is that you can't really keep any appliances up here if you want to watch TV. But the televator is a really cool thing. <laughs> there is storage up here. It's all the way through from here to here. And then you have this nice long fireplace, like a a one and a half times the size of ours, I think. It's a great fireplace. More I would say that fireplace is probably five feet long, guys. More storage above the microwave. You have your microwave here. I think it's the same one we have. You have this little window here so you can look out while you're cooking as well. There is a window behind the TV, I forgot to mention. Four burner insignia stove with a full-size oven. That is nice. And you have this little drawer underneath for extra storage. And next to that, you have this awesome pull-out pantry. Look at this. You can put your oils and all kinds of <laughs> bottled items in there. That's nice. They chose the residential res refrigerator for this model, and that means that they have extra storage up above. Before we go into the garage, you'll see that there is the bunk or attic space up there. If you have somebody that wants to sleep up there, I think there's a ladder included. We use this as storage in ours because we don't have anyone sleeping up there. And then this is the door to the garage. Now we're here in the garage. There has been a pretty big modification to the garage from the 397 version, and it starts right here. They took away the full bath that was here, and they, the door was actually here, and they changed it to this, which is okay, I think, um, if you need the extra uh, half bath. For us, we never use our bath in our 397, so we would have probably just deleted it altogether and just made the, the uh, garage a lot bigger. All right, turning back around towards the door we just came in here. This, <laughs> this I really, really like. Another, it's, it's wired again for another uh, Furion backup camera. That's so you can watch your toys while you're inside your truck, guys. On move day, you can watch your toys. You don't have to pull over and stop. Open your garage door, come in, check everything out, make sure everything's good to go, because you can see it from inside your cab. Right here, you have your standard panel, just like uh, we do in our, uh, in our grand design. Um, so nothing new there. Another thing, if we look up here to the top, towards the ceiling, we have what we lovingly call the chicken coops. They've deleted one of these, which is nice because they're so high that I literally have to get a ladder to get up to get anything in and in or out of those anyway. Guys, if you use these, let me know in the comments down below what you actually put in yours. <laughs> we're always trying to figure out what to go in there. We call them the chicken coops. I think we're going to get chickens and put in there. <laughs> um, here's something that hasn't changed. You have another TV back here on the wall, and you also have a third air conditioner back here uh, on the ceiling as well. And nothing really has changed here except for maybe the colors. They do have the Happy Jack system, uh, which basically comes down and makes into a queen set of bunk beds. Or you can leave the top bed up and bring these down 
and there's a uh, table that will go in the floor right here and you have a nice new, uh, another dining area or an area to entertain friends with room for six and these also will fold down for cup holders then you have room for four but still uh, a good little area to entertain you can tell that Chad and Tara put a lot of thought into this, working with the Grand Design Company to design this model. We really like it. Uh, there are some things that we really like and do not like, but this is our take on it. Let us know what you think about it. Give us your thoughts. Let us know what you think about the camping side and the um, kitchen side swapped. Uh, that was an interesting change to me. Um, but yeah, like, like she said, we liked a lot and there was a few things we would change. I really, really, really love the extra storage in the basement. Good job, Chad. I'm sure that was Chad there. <laughs> well, we are coming to you from the National Grand Design Rally here in Elkhart. So you can expect uh, videos from us kind of sporadic. So you're going to want to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any. Also, coming up in two weeks, we have the Hershey Show. So continue watching, guys. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that little bell so you don't miss a thing. Hi, my name is Booty. And I'm Cindy. And, and we, we are, are New Beginnings, Beginnings with, with Booty and, and Cindy. Cindy. And we'll see, see you, you next time on Jarhead and Ginger's Journey. <laughs>